don't turn him away. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, don't turn him away. It, 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 it is not just for, for the unbeliever. Don't turn him away. God's voice is always there. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. I don't mind me playing the guitar because, you know, it's a long time I don't play, but I, I just want to feel something. Hallelujah, dear friend. Hallelujah. 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 What is that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ready?
turn them away. Sit down. So folks don't understand, you see. Elisha one time, even though he was, he carried a mandal. The Bible said that the people were in trouble. And they needed a word. And he called for the minstrel. Hallelujah. And as the minstrel played, the Lord began to talk to Elisha. Amen. I'm so moved by the word this evening. Beware of the enemies of revival. Amen. And the most important ingredient of the revival after Christ is the voice. Someone say Christ. Voice. So then you understand why there is so much effort to remove Christ. That's the Antichrist. And to remove the voice. The most dreadful thing you can ever face is the voice of God. My Lord. And God has raised you up so mighty in this time. And the main thing the enemy is doing is nothing just to rob you of God's voice. That's why as a preacher was saying, the serpent. And most of you just think of the serpent. This, the serpent of, of Genesis is the beast of now. The serpent came to Eve and challenged God's voice. He will always challenge God's voice. It will always be the beast that challenged God's voice. Because the ingredient of revival, of world revival, will be God's voice. It, it won't be singing, it won't be guitar, it won't be, it, come on, it won't be choir, it will be God's voice. And God has supernaturally raised you up with his voice, with his voice. And the beast is released to challenge that voice. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over this week, over this weekend, I'll soon be doing the offering. Over this weekend, I saw the Lord move so mightily. I see some of you visionaries and prophets, you know, getting compromised, think you are so strong, go listening to this and listen to that. And let me check out the state to see if they are right or they are wrong. If you know this preacher, I, I, I hardly even read news article. I just read the title. No matter how strong I am, I, I don't take the chances you guys take. That's why you get messed up. Go read through our stuff and listen to it. If I get a new book, a new book, it's a new book. I cover myself, I'm a Christian book. <laughs> Come on. I cover myself under the blood, even if it's Bishop Reed, write it. Come on. I know you didn't hear that. Come on. I cover myself under the blood. Because I can't give any door for anything wrong. I, I say, God, anything that is not of you, I reject it. And what is from you, I receive it. Are you there, somebody? Amen. And, 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 and I see this week where God moved so mightily. God sent a, a revelation. And in the revelation, God said, there is a car, a car or a vehicle a, a, that travels on the road. And then that vehicle becomes a boat. <laughs> The vehicle becomes a boat. And then the vehicle gets into some real rough waters. This boat and capsize. And people die. And folks have to dive under to find to find the survivors. Are you there? Anybody anybody know anybody know what happened this week? Come on. That prophecy came only hours before it happened, right here. Are you here? That revelation came only hours among us, different from the ones that which are featured, you know, the, the, those other great ones. You praise God for them, but only hours before. Now, this this signifies something. This signifies that God 
hallelujah, is approving. God is validating. Is a hand on the move, not a man. God is validating his hand on the move of God. Hallelujah. And I, just before we do the offer, I want to pray for those of you who really want to be what I call plumb line prophets. When I say plumb line prophet, a plumb line prophet don't have to hear from God to speak, thus said God. When you're a plumb line prophet, if you don't hear nothing, you take up the Bible and say, What you're doing is wrong. I am not a plumb line prophet because the Bible is mightier than the dream. Oh, glory to God. And because you operate in the office, as a bishop, I can't sit down with this my time and say, I am not ready. <laughs> Come on, I have to sign that document. Are you there? That only the bishop can sign. Are you there? Well, a prophet, hallelujah, you have to be with you all the time. Oh, glory to God. Huh? <laughs> You're only waiting for a dream? Really? That's why the king would send for the prophet and ask the prophet, should we go to war or not? Can I tell you something? A prophet may even some, some folk, that's why sometimes if I understand a prophet, you want to do a lot of good things and the prophet will say don't do it and you're upset you want you you say let, let me go through first to see if it work come on now and the prophet said no forget it i get upset why didn't he give me a chance to 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 try it out to see if it will work huh? let me tell you about a prophet the bible said that after elijah after elisha received the anointing received the mantle <laughs> his, his other friends wanted to go search for elijah Anybody remember me? Second king, they want to go search for Elijah. And, El uh, 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 and Elijah said, no, don't go. You don't need to go. And they, they pressure him so much until the Bible said he was ashamed. And said, go ahead and search for Eli Elijah. They searched for days and didn't find Elijah. And when, when they came back and, and said, well, we didn't find him. He said, he said, you went and waste time. I already told you. You don't know the calling of an, upon a prophet. You don't want to call upon people who hear God's voice. Is that God not going to use angels now? Precious. Come on, somebody. The Bible says in, in Jeremiah, even the king have to humble himself before a prophet. The Bible said it in Second Chronicles. Hallelujah. And God is looking for some plumb line who fear God. Who fear. When a plumb line prophet, you don't allow the stuff that you're allowing. You know, oh wow, a lot of your reckless folks. You don't you don't care about your children. You don't you don't know what you're putting your children to. Did you know that when you speak against the servants, the prophets of God, you know your children more exposed? Come on, we don't have time to go into it. Come on. But God is looking for some plumb line prophets. And let me tell you, if you did wrong, all you have to do is repent. That's why I love God. Come on, is that the perfect person I'm looking for? I'm looking for the heart. The person said, I did wrong. And listen, if, 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 if you went and did wrong, just turning is not good. Just change is not good enough. You got to repent. You got to repent. I want to pray. Where is, where is the Prophet Stephen? Is Prophet Stephen around? I know he was working in the back doing some working on the air condition or whatever. But I, I want to pray for you, young man. And anybody else who want to be a plumb line prophet. Plumb line prophet means that you're going to, you're not going to, you're not going to wait. You're going to say what you got to say. You're going to do what you got to do. You're going, you're going to take all the dirt. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're going to take all the dirt so that the pastor not have to preach much. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo. My Lord, my Lord. Jesus. Jesus, plumb line prophet. Hallelujah. Plumb line prophet. That's what God, that's why God says, in the last days I'll put off my spirit upon all flesh. And he said, what would be, what, what, what would it be? Prophet. It's a prophecy. It's a prophecy. Glory to God. Did you know that God would cause a prophet right here to say to a woman, listen, it's time for you to get married. You're going to go to a certain country and when you go to that country you're going to sit and eat with somebody they're going to eat out of your plate hey there. and the person went to that country and somebody sit down and eat out of her plate 
Hmm? And they got married. They married for about 20 years. Where I come from right here. And now they fight in the church and they still married for 20 years. They live in the prophecy. 20 years. Prophecy came right from here. And said, go to that country. And you come back with your husband. And tell them how they're going to know it's their husband. You'll eat out of the same place. Just show you the effect of poison. Come on. They don't have to be skillful. They don't have to be gifted. Just poison can damage you. It don't take much. A little boy can poison you. Am I right? Come on. To show you. The person is living in the fulfillment. Having a happy life. Having children. No rich adulthood. From that same revelation. Then that same person come around and said, there's no prophecy. And they're living the prophecy. Yes. <laughs> if you don't believe, you should break up then. You live on 20 years. Well, you don't like it heavy, you know. You don't like it. You should, you should break up now. Two young men, two, two young people, a, a, a man and a, and a woman, soon pray. Amen. They always been fussing. Fussing. Two young people, two single young people. <laughs> always fussing. Always fussing. Then the Lord give one of the prophets here a vision and see two of them playing domino. Domino. You know, the domino, you have competition, but it's nice competition. And the person go and say, that, oh, no, no. no. That's your wife. I know they married about 15 years. <laughs> yeah. Come on. The prophecy came from right it. You know, it's like you just want normal stuff. That's why I put on a preacher so you can get this strange stuff right now. Come on. Not strange, your other stuff now. Come on now. One lady, one prophet right here. That's it. One prophet right now saw a woman at a hotel hmm? and lift her up. I said, wow. And he put her down. The following night, that prophet was at a church. Hmm? From right here. And a young man ran out, ran out of the, out of the audience. And went right before the prophet and kneeled down before him and go like this. The prophet knew the lady picked up the night before in the vision was his wife. And now they are husband and wife for about 12 years. <laughs> Get excited. Are you there? You have to be careful. One prophet saw a lady and she had children before, but now she was struggling. And the prophet just come off the field and, and look at this lady. It's a very nice lady. She always happy, always in the spirit. But as the prophet came out of it and looked in her spirit, he saw that she was down. And he said, what happened? He said to her, what happened? What happened? And she said, I'm, I'm trying to be her again. And it's not happening. And the, prophet, and the prophet said to her, you sure you want more? You sure? And she said, yes. I said, oh. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, you sure? She said, yes. And he took out some scriptures and said, well, if you sure you want them? Yeah, I done. And now she has children. Adult. Which adult? Which adult? Come on, somebody. And part of the family fighting against prophecy. Not she. Did you get me? Did you get me? Get me. Prophecy don't play. Once it comes. Tell her one more. Can I tell her one more? I'm trying to help you understand someone the preacher is preaching about. It's the voice of God they want to take. Someone say, okay. Another prophet was sitting down around a table eating. Then a young man came up and eat out of his plate. Come on, prophecy. <laughs> now that young man is married to one of the sisters in the church for a few years now. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? 
That's prophecy. That's revelation. As the Bible says in Matthew chapter 13, he said, thereby speak I in parables. Watch me now. Seeing they see now. Hearing they hear now. Neither do they. This preacher believes in repentance. You know, I don't believe in damnation. No. All when you're damned, I'll work like you're not because I don't know. Are you there? <laughs> Who am I? God is looking for plumbland prophets. Just bow your heads right now. Father, in your hand right now, I place these right at the altar. Oh my, I hear the Holy Ghost. I hear the Holy Ghost saying before, before I continue prayer, just pray to the Lord yourself. Some of you need to repent. Yes. Yes. Not of adultery, not, not, not funny, I don't mean that. You mean repent of not handling yourself the best way with the voice of God. Just repent for 30 seconds. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now when when I lay my hands on you, Bishop, come give me some oil on my hands, please. When I lay my hands on you, I'm telling you that gift and that office coming up on you. You're not gonna be the same. You're not gonna be afraid of nobody. You're gonna be wise but not afraid of nobody. You're going to cause some trouble. Prophet cause trouble. Ahab said to Elijah, you are, you are the man that causing trouble. The trouble of Israel. Prophet not nice. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Precise. Precise. Come on, my friend. Come on. Amen. I baptized. Awesome. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bishop, could you talk? Could you read her, please? Father, bless in the name of Jesus. Your mighty hand of blessing and favor. Hallelujah. Let everything, Lord, that need to be fixed, be fixed. And everything that need to be done. In the name of Jesus. Talk to you, Bishop. Let one of the young men. Yes, Lord. Bishop. Glory to God. Um, just, just, let, just let the Lord have his way. That's it. I love how God works. Just, just, I, I couldn't be a Muslim because my God is a God that allow, allow fix any time. Any time. Any time. Any time. He allow fix any time. But I, I, I love God. <laughs> Let me each time. Yes, woman of God. Yes, woman of God. Mashakara. Mighty. Plum line prophet. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. It ain't normally the world can't handle it. Shiba Baba Baba. Plum line, plum line, plum line. Plum line. Plum line, plum line. Plum line, prophet. That's why God wants what God wants right now. Dangerous. Dangerous. Shiba Baba. Dangerous. Plum line. Plum line, plum line. Plum line. Mm. There ain't no negotiation. Just God's voice. Shebaba. Plum line prophets. No, it's very important. It's very important. Plum line. Plum like the devil can't handle it. I can't, I can't even talk a lot about this thing. I can't even talk a lot about this thing. So the devil afraid. 
Plum line. Plum line. Plum line prophet. Never can handle this. This turn. This turning point. Can't handle this turning point. This turning the prophetic turning point. There's no gift, no, no activity, no manifestation. As dangerous to the devil. She was plumb line prophecy. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Plumb line. Scared of no one. Talk to kings with the voice of God. Woo! Woo! God told Elijah, don't be afraid of, of King Hazar, Hazariah or something like that. Don't be afraid. Glory to God. My God, man. Go up to the king. The time the, the prophet just destroyed two companies with fire. My God. Lord. God says, you're still afraid. But go to the king. Come on, somebody. Can you have the word of God? And he went to the king. Ooh. Kamakata. Kamakata. Some prophets would go, go to the king. Three kings came to a prophet, and the prophet said, I don't like two of you. Only one of the three who I'm gonna bless you. I don't know about a prophet yet. Three kings away with two of you, but because of him. You know this calling? You want to take the prophet because most prophets prophesy and miss and they're not working. Come on. Play. Ha. Plum line crap. Sheba Baba. We don't compromise. Woo! La Raba Baba Baba. Kraka Sakataya. Mashakata Baba. Shibirana. Plum line prophet. In the name of Jesus. 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 Plum line. Plum line. Saraba. Prophet. Receive it. Woo. My God, my God, my God, my God. My God, my God. My God, my God. Woo. Cool, cool. I bless him Lord bless him Jesus bless him in the name of Jesus bless him minister unto him Lord every need mm. lead him Jesus let everything be done according to your will in this time of revival somebody say in the name of Jesus somebody say in the name of Jesus God bless you listen listen my God my God my God Plum line prophet. That's what it is. The devil can't handle it. <laughs> Plum line prophets. We see that. My God, in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Listen. Listen. I'm going to do the offering, but listen. There's some of you, the, 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 the daily revival anointing is upon you. And, but some of you are taking chances. Let me tell you something. The fact that somebody do good don't mean that they mean good. They have to use good to get to you. It's called a charm. It's called a harmful charm. She's called a charm. Especially those of you who are motivated and, and going out in everyday preaching. Listen, you can't associate. You can't associate with everybody. Hallelujah. It's not between going to hell and not going to hell. And, and not going to heaven. It's not between that. But you're not going to get there. Those who you you use as your mentors you got to see the fruit you got to see the present fruit there are folks who are on fire who when i get near them oh fire i'm the prophesy husband upon them 
And as soon as they get husband up to know they have a reason up back here. Fifteen years. Are you there? Or they gone less. Are you there? They were full of fire and power. So you look for the fruit. Did you hear what I said? Those of you who do daily ministry, just stand up for a moment. I'm, I know time is gone, but I just got to... Uh, oh, my God. Amen. You, you have to know where your connections. You got to know. It's different. The least little thing, you're not going to go every day again. These little thing. One look at discouragement. You know, glory to God. Glory to God. Lord, help me. Glory to God. Be careful what you share from another person. Facebook or, or what? YouTube. Because you don't know the spirit behind it. The spirit. The spirit behind that channel. They have to say good things to get attention. But the spirit behind the channel understand me church is the prophetic I'm talking, you're not getting to become talking about the prophetic I look in your spirit I know six months time you're done if you don't change and you don't you don't plan to do it but that's the voice of God that's why the Bible says Jeremiah said the king did not humble himself before the prophet even the king have to humble himself because the prophet have a glimpse of what's coming. Even the things you see happening right now, the attacks upon the church. Even the things you see happening right now. It's prophesied so exact. Exact. And folks still become victims. Now, I'm going to pray. One more thing. Let me tell you. When the prophetic is upon you, when you're hearing God's voice, God don't have to convince you that the black Jews is false. Hmm? Let me tell you. I'm going to prophesy to you. If you begin to, to believe in black Jews, you're going to lose your family. Remember, you're one. Remember, you're one. I don't have to go into, go into um, exegesis. I'm going to detail. If I have to, I will help you. Come on, somebody. But black Jews is idolatry. Amen. And the devil see the hand of God upon you. And he see your success. He see your blessing and he target you to destroy it so he put the black juice thing upon you let me tell you if you don't quit it you're done that's, that's, that's how you say it hard if you don't quit it you're done if you're dwelling on the questions that the beast bring you're done you're a one you are one. Especially if you have a nice family, the devil always have a plan. Leave your hand if you have a nice family. Some, some of you don't really lift your hand. You're prophesying on yourself. Come on, lift your hand if you have a nice family. Come on, somebody. Put down your hands. Listen. That's why God calls his servant to talk about the voice of God makes a difference. Any, any time we begin to have respect, be careful. Lift your hand. In the name of Jesus. Let that, let that motivation for daily ministry never die. Choose very carefully. Choose very carefully. Your walk, your talk, your association. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The, yes, the motivation. Yes, for world. Yes, daily ministry. Revival in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Choose carefully. Choose carefully. Choose carefully. In the name of Jesus. Daily ministry. Daily ministry. Daily ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Daily ministry. Daily ministry. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody say his voice makes the difference. Somebody say his voice makes a difference. Hallelujah.